So we found a way to fix the magnets. And it's really quite straightforward. There's, we fix, let's start here, we fix at the cold end, remember this is at 1.9 Kelvin, we fix at the cold end a tube that goes down a couple of millimeters, a couple of meters, and to about here. Mm -hmm. And then inside that tube is a rod that comes back. And it's fixed here on this massive piece of stuff, which you can't really see because it's covered in super insulation and so on. This piece, this rod, is made of invar. Invar is a kind of steel that has a very small coefficient of thermal expansion. Mm -hmm. So when you cool it down, the end of this rod more or less stays at the same place. Maybe it moves a tiny bit, a few millimeters, but it stays at the same place. And it's inside this tube, which is aluminum, mm -hmm. which is designed to contract exactly as much as the stainless, as the magnet does from here to here. Right. Okay. So this point stays at the same place. This is the so-called fixed point. Mm -hmm. But now, instead of really being fixed, it's a virtual fixed point. Okay. Gotcha. At the same time, this is so strong that there's no net force on this composite ring. And in fact, we release the composite ring so it can freely slide back and forth. It's not fixed anymore. Okay. So all the force shows up here and here. Yeah. Okay. This is massive because there's quite a large force, 15 tons, trying to bend this like this. So you have to have this as a very massive object. And there's eventually, this force ends up at the floor, right? because the force is transferred to here, which transfers it to the warm part of the cryostat, which transfers it to the floor, 